Hey, this is Maura Neal. I'm a realtor in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm standing here with Drew Dudley. You may recognize him from um, his TED Talk, which is extremely popular, and from what I've read, over 5 million views. Apparently so. That's pretty fantastic. I'm not supposed to check anymore. It makes me vain. Oh, I'll check for you. So it's over 5 million views. It's really popular. Um, but he has just written his first book, and it is called This Is Day One. And we're at the Georgia Realtor Conference, where he is our keynote speaker. And I wanted him to have a chance to say a little bit about his book and why this is a great read for realtors. Well, first of all, the, I think the number one reason realtors should buy this book is because it makes me money. And Alton, I'm kidding. Well, I just, and realtors I, I, love to make money, I so we it. understand that concept. I like that you looked at me like, wow, <laughs> worst interview ever. No. <laughs> Ultimately, I think one of the key pieces uh, in this book is it talks about the power of a personal leadership philosophy. And the idea is this book is a step-by-step -step process to creating your own. Now, when he talks about a personal leadership philosophy, what I'm talking about is a way that you deal with people and situations and difficult decisions. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, your personal leadership philosophy makes clear to people what you expect from them, more importantly, what you expect from yourself and how you're gonna make decisions. And the idea is, when you talk about being a realtor, trust, I'm not one, but I right. do know you're dealing with people amidst one of the most, if not the most, significant commitments they're going to make Absolutely. in their life. Everyone who just got married said, eh, second most, but let's face it, you don't need a down payment on it your is marriage. It's the biggest financial commitment of your life, usually up until that point. But yeah, and so trust is such an important piece. Right. And ultimately, people with a personal leadership philosophy are 130% more likely to be trusted. What this book does is a couple of things. One, it, I want to make people realize that we've made leadership into something that most of us don't see as part of us. Right. We make it into this big, grand thing, and especially if individuals tend to work a lot on their own, they instinctively don't see themselves as leaders. They might see themselves right. as successful, but leaders are placed as people in front of big groups. Right. Leadership is about closing the gap between who you want to be and how you're actually behaving. And any time that you do that, you are acting as a leader. Absolutely. Create a personal leadership philosophy that says, here's what I stand for, and I have a plan to make sure that I live it every single day. That is leadership, whether or not you're a, a company of one or you're the head of right. 250 employees. Right. We all want to do that. And I think that we all manage to do that pretty regularly. This book talks about how to make it conscious, how to make it consistent, because leadership isn't in these big things. It's in the consistent things. So I love that you talk about uh, people <clears throat> dealing with difficult situations, because obviously not only for us as as leaders and as members of volunteer members of our realtor associations at the local, state, or national level, we deal with people in difficult situations in real estate transactions, maybe even, like you said, in your personal life. Mm -hmm. you, so having those skills and having, I love the concept of day one. Mm -hmm. It's, I, I think you wrote, um, you wrote in a description of one of your podcasts, yes, I'm a stalker, by the way, um, that it's almost like, what would you tell yourself mm. on your first day of high school? Or what would you tell yourself on a, an important day in your past to, to get you better prepared for where you are today. And I love that concept of you may not see yourself as a leader now, but you can start from now, from today, and work your way forward with this step-by-step -step plan. Yeah, the idea of you're not a leader now is because of how we were taught about it. Right. We, we evaluate it over blocks of time. So what's my title and how many people am I in charge of? Day one, the concept, and I'm glad it resonates with you, is if you could go back to the beginning, knowing everything you know now with all the right. skills you have, and you could just start building yourself into the realtor, the leader, the person you want to be, what would you start doing on day one that you wish you had done? Right. Because the idea of day one leadership says this, every morning we all wake up having done exactly the same amount to earn the title of leader. Nothing. Right. And so if you're the head of an organization, you still have to do things today because if you don't engage in moments of impact and courage and self -empower and empowerment and self-respect, if you don't do that today and the person who sweeps your floors did, they're a bigger leader today than you are. Right. The key is if you do that every day, becoming the head of something or very successful, those are the natural byproducts that come from that. So the nice thing about saying we're going to evaluate leadership daily is that a 12 year old gets up with the same level of leadership accomplishments that day as a CEO does. 
but they both have this both opportunity and obligation to engage in these behaviors. And the book is, okay, what are those specific behaviors for you? Because it's not one size fits all. What are your specific leadership behaviors? And then how can you make sure you do it every day? So don't worry about a five-year plan. Just be able to say at the end of today, I acted like a leader today, but it all gets wiped out and you have to restart tomorrow. There's that, that recommitment. Yeah. I love that. Well, thank you. It's I It's my absolute it. pleasure. And um, if you're seeing this, you should definitely, because it makes him money. <laughs> yeah. I really shouldn't have said that. You should definitely buy uh, This Is Day One by Drew Dudley. And if you need a little dose of him before your book arrives or before you get to Barnes & Noble or your Amazon comes knocking at your door, go to YouTube and search Blue Lollipop Story and Drew Dudley and you'll see one of my favorite TED Talks. And thank you again. Well, thank I you very it. much. It's yeah. so nice to be here. I appreciate it. Good to see it. you. Yeah.